Hi, thank you so much for joining me. Today I would like to deconstruct an exercise called Spine Stretch Forward. The Spine Stretch Forward is the seventh and last exercise in the classical Pilates mat series for beginners. It comes after the hundred, the roll up, the single leg circles, rolling like a ball, single leg stretch, and double leg stretch. All those exercises have been deconstructed separately and you can find the videos for every one of them. The Spine Stretch Forward's main focus, main purpose is, as the name says, to stretch the spine, to articulate the spine. Another very important thing about this exercise is that it is a breathing exercise. It is very important how we do the breath. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. What I want to do is I want to bring it to the wall. As we very often in Pilates talk about an imaginary wall behind us, this time we will use a real one. Let's sit very nice and tall against that wall. Stretching our legs out in front of us, about mat's width. If you feel your hamstrings are too tight, you can do a few things. You can put a roll-up mat underneath you or a roll-up towel. You could also use a box to sit up a little bit higher or you could bend your knees slightly, at least to start out. I will keep my legs straight and dorsiflex my feet. That means flex at the ankles with my toes pointing up. Standing or sitting rather, very nice and tall against that wall behind us. Use your glutes to grow even further. Now, a few of the things that we don't want to do in this exercise. It is not an exercise where we hinge at the hips and work on our flexibility. That's not the purpose of the exercise. So make sure that you're not hinging at your hips, rather at your waist. The arms are in front of our chest, about shoulder level as if they were on top of a coffee table. Sitting nice and tall, we inhale as we try to grow even taller, bringing our head towards the ceiling. As we exhale, we bring chin to chest, and then we start articulating the spine forward, creating a C shape with our body. The lower back is still against the wall, my belly button's going in and up, my ribs are in. And I feel energy out of my heels and my fingertips towards the wall in front of me. And then as I inhale, I sit up nice and tall. Exhaling, chin to chest, imprinting my lower back against the wall and then stretching forward. Can you see that the hinge is at the waist and not at the hip? And then rolling back up, inhaling nice and tall. Let's do that one more time. As you exhale, chin towards chest. Keep a space between your chin and your chest and then start taking one vertebra away from the wall at a time. Exhaling all the air out. Energy out of your heels forwards. Also your fingertips and then lifting up and growing taller. Excellent, let me turn it around so we see a different view. As I mentioned, the heels project forwards towards the wall that's in front of you. So let's use the wall now this way. We have that imaginary wall now behind us. So we're sitting nice and tall, using our glutes to help us lift even higher. Top crown of our head towards the ceiling. Inhaling here. We always exhale to bring chin to chest, belly buttons in and up. Ribs are going back. And we stretch forward, keeping energy out of our heels towards the wall in front of us, also our fingertips, finding that C shape. And then rolling back up when we have no more left air left in our lungs. Let's do that a couple more times. Exhaling. Scooping away, belly button in and up, ribs are in, shoulders away from the ears and then growing, growing, even taller. One more time. And growing, 
again. That is the spine stretch forward for you, a breathing exercise focused on stretching your spine. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on the mat.